I'm Glenn Heemstra with Futurist.com. I'm talking with Brenda Cooper, science fiction writer, also a futurist, uh, associated with Futurist.com. But her best known career right now, I would say, is her writing career. Uh, she is the author of several uh, well-known uh, speculative fiction or science fiction books. She is currently the author of a series. The first in the series was called Silver Ship and the Sea, and the second in the series is called Reading the Wind. I've read them both. They're terrific. Brenda, what's the uh, premise of these, uh, this, this series? I started out in order to explore genetic engineering. And what I did is I said, what happens if I put six genetically engineered children down on a planet with people who are resistant to that? Because in today's culture, we have that. We have a number of people who are saying, hey, don't change people, don't mess with us, we don't want to eat genetically engineered food, we want to be as pure as we can. And that's a very valid viewpoint. So I took that group and I put them down with some people who had been changed so that they would be faster, smarter, etc. But yet they were children. And so how this colony dealt with these children and how those children grew up is essentially the topic of the first book. And in the second book, they go on to a little bit more advanced world and you find out a few other things at that point. And the book ended up being partly about prejudice, which I really hadn't expected as much. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, we're prejudiced now against pe people for things as simple as race or skin color. And so what will happen when we're actually prejudiced against people for things that really are different? And the other thing it is is a bit of an anti-war book because I wrote The Silver Ship in the Sea right as we were going to the Iraq War. And I'm personally a bit of a pacifist. I believe we need to be prepared and we need a standing mm -hmm. army and all mm -hmm. that. But I don't like wars at all. I would mm -hmm. love to see us mm -hmm. get past that. Mm -hmm. And so that's the emotional state I was in when I was writing the book. So it really does explore and talk a little bit about the cost of war, if you will. And yet conflict is a pretty big feature in these books. I mean, there, there, yes. are, there is a battle, a consistent battle mm -hmm. going on. There's actually a lot of battle scenes and so on. So it isn't that you stayed away from that, but you try to put that uh, into the story in a way that explains why they're doing it and what effect it has, right? Right. Essentially, it's to show the costs of war and to show sort of the, re the reasons that we may end up going to war are sometimes not necessarily the right ones. Um, but in this case, just as in most wars today, both sides really believe that they're correct, that they're fighting for the right True. thing. And the series is leading up. The fourth book is essentially almost military science fiction in the sense that a lot of it takes place during a large battle between a very advanced culture and another very advanced culture. And what's the advantage of placing these stories in, uh, in a colony on another planet in another system and so on? Why did you do that as, as compared to keeping them here on Earth? Sometimes if you want to highlight a particular thing about humanity, in this case both our prejudices and the powerful ways in which we learn to overcome them, it's nice to take it and put it in a, either a fantasy setting or a science fictional setting so that you can then take a look at that without it being carrying all of the other freight that we have with our culture. Very good. Thank you, Brenda. This Thank is you. This is Brenda Cooper. Uh, her series is the newest uh, book on the shelves now is Reading the Wind. The series began with Silver Ship in the Sea. Uh, they're terrific reads, great character studies, and I encourage you to pick them up. I'm Glenn Heemstra from Futurist.com. Thank you, Glenn.